it's me, Persita, and this is Persita's Paradox. So in trying to transfer my energy properly on this channel, I decided to make Thursdays a Thought Thursday. So what I wanna do is pose a question to you and I want you to think about it over the weekend until we meet again on Tuesday and start a dialogue with you to actually get you interested in communicating. To be a competent communicator, it is crucial for you to be able to express yourself, but to find a comfortability within it. So I think that the more the questions come out, the easier you'll relate to one or the other, and it'll be easier for you to communicate. The reason why I ask for comments on the wall is because I want you to share with other subscribers who actually may be going through the exact same thing, or maybe you can share with them how you actually made it through whatever the trial is or whatever the question is. So again, I am going to start today with our first thought for Thursday conversation. Here's the question. Easter's coming and Easter of course is about the resurrection. My question to you is what needs to be resurrected back into your life? That could be a person, a place, a thing, that could be a mindset, that could be a dream, a goal, but what is it exactly that you have literally put to death that should not have been put to death? Think about it, think about it. Actually take the time to say to yourself, what exactly is it that I have removed from my life that was not at all what I thought it was and actually has now been identified as something I need? What needs to be resurrected? That's the question. What needs to be resurrected? So today we're gonna to affirm, I'm gonna stop two seconds in some day between now and next Tuesday and think about what should be resurrected in my life. So how exactly are we gonna affirm it? We're going to simply come through with what we said we were gonna do. Now this might not be the question that you wanna comment on and that's fine, but I want you to find a question, excuse me, my gardener's here, but I want you to find a question that I'm going to, to propose to you that you automatically determine you're going to answer no matter what. And it's going to be embarrassing and you're going to feel like, you know, oh, what is this about? I just want to go on the page and listen to proceed. That's fine. Do it when you feel comfortable with doing it. But I want the goal for you to be able to actually respond back with what I'm saying. Call to action is to respond, to make a comment and to make an open comment because I'm notorious to get lots of private messages but I want you to feel comfortable in being authentic. And to be authentic means that you understand that you don't have to impress anyone and everyone is going through something and people do not post their failures. So this is not you posting your failure, this is simply you, simply you communicating with people to understand that most of the things that you think you're going through alone, there are other people who have either gone through it or they're right there with you and they're going through it with you at this exact moment. So either you have fulfilled it or you are struggling with it. So hope that helps. Here we go. Did you remember the question? What is it that needs to be resurrected in your life? Thank you so much for joining me. Let's start something new. This should be fun. I want you to do the three things that I'm always stressing. Live life authentic. Have a blessed day. But before you have a blessed day, remember to subscribe, to like, to comment, to share, to communicate on this channel. Now, have a blessed day. Have a blessed weekend.